Right, well I'm going to do a few or a series of random kind of videos. I'll probably call them something like, I don't know, Life of a Fisherman, Fisherman's Life, something like that. And it basically is going to revolve around what goes on kind of behind the scenes. More the sort of work that you don't see, the bits and pieces that go on when I'm not fishing. Because I mean anybody can pick up a rod, go down, say jump on a fishing trips boat and go out and catch fish. But when you're running a boat, it's not just having a boat, having an engine. There's lots of things that go on behind it, including all my equipment. Now, yes, I could go and buy pots. Yes, I could have a mechanic service all my engines. Yes, I could have somebody pay somebody to put my boat down in the water every year. Or I could just get a mooring in the harbour and pay X amount of thousand pounds a year to have a boat there. Like where I could just walk down on a pontoon, this sort of thing. So I'm going to show you small jobs like I said that go on behind the scenes which keeps everything running and the way I kind of economize on stuff as well because obviously I have to keep my costs down otherwise I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and then I'll end up working for somebody and then just complaining I couldn't go out fishing and we all know that feeling so yeah just a little insight so I probably like I said I probably call it something like I don't know um fisherman's life or something like that It'll just, I'll just title that beginning and then I'll just put what I'm doing on the video. Now, I know it's not going to appeal to everybody. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And it won't affect the fishing videos. Fishing videos are still coming. This will just sort of be random videos on random days. And then also, obviously, the boat stuff will be coming as well. I might clump that together. But with that, because it's going to be obviously bigger videos if I'm installing stuff or building stuff on the boat those will be may come out on the normal days here and there although like I say we will keep the fishing videos going right the way through and um, we've got the foraging ones which will be coming um, I'm not going to push myself too hard this year with the foraging for obvious reasons I'm going to try and back off a bit but the idea will be to go down just basically find stuff for food on that one um, go and get you know nice plate of almonds that kind of thing or plate of abalone or maybe even lobster we'll see we'll see when the time comes and we'll see what the weather does anyway today's one is going to be well basically recycling a trailer for another use so what do you see there you probably see a trailer and you'd kind of be right but what I see is I see crab pot weights and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing is cutting that up into crab pot weights now a friend brought this round the other day he's just got himself a new trailer made so he didn't want the old trailer and instead of having to take it and dump it and all the rest of it he brought it around here and I'm going to cut it up and use it for the crab pots now usually I'd use something like sash weights but they are becoming a lot harder to find these days because obviously they come from sash windows or the old sash wooden windows anyway better get on and get the grinder out Good crab pot weights. Angle iron. You can also screw it, you can also use make pots out of the bases out of this, but you just screw it around the wooden frame and the bottom, and there's your weight. Right. will be with what steel is good still. Now how is this attached? It's got to be welded. 
from that wood. That. Go. Quick way of doing it. Yeah, these screws are pretty. That one's alright, but the other one I think is pretty knackered. It's dangerous, but the head's all chewed up on it, so. Not much cop. In fact, this is so rotten, it'll probably. Possibly. Oh, that's a stainless bolt in there. Okay. Well, better unscrew it. <laughs> if I can get onto it. This bit of wood metal's probably not any good. It's too rotten. Still got metal there, but. It's um, so thin, it won't be enough weight. Oh, I'm gonna need a new blade. That one's knackered. Fortunately, I've got plenty. the thing with these blades they are very thin but it will go through the metal very quick but you also go through these very quick so I have some thicker ones but I'm not gonna use them these are like saying if you bend them they will break like that cutting it at, at an odd angle you're gonna bust things to get onto this that way I'm trying to get a little bit of angle to get onto the bolt so we can just pull the bolt out If that rust will bust off, you've got no weight left on that part. Oh, yeah, that bolt is. I'll have to look at that when I cut this up. So there's those are those bolts as well. Okay. Got the grease still. I'm not even going to try these screws.
through with my blade's too short, so I need to change it. Right, there's one. I need to get that wood out of there. Should. So again, these are just, there's actually two angle lines that have been welded together, but no, that's fine. It'll do. Well, son's decided to go in, <laughs> so I went, popped off and had some lunch. I think I'll just burn them outside because they've got paint on. I don't want to burn that in the in the wood burner, not with the paint. There you go, that's what's left of the trailer. I just need to undo these bolts and I'll remove that. And I'll, I need to check that bit of metal to see if it's any good. It's pretty rusty, that bit. Um, the bit I have took off the middle was pretty damn good. The, the angle iron, so we've got a nice bit of angle iron for the pots. And a suggestion I would make is if you use trailers with wooden, like a wooden sled that's inside sort of thing, or a wooden liner, Use wax on it. Um, grease is so messy, and it's the same when you come to paint your anti fouling that. If you've got grease over your hole, it's not going to do you any good when you're anti fouling. I've, I've been using wax for years, and it works perfectly. Um, this is on smaller boats. I don't know how large boats would fare with wax wood, but if you get the wax and you put it on a really hot day, it'll melt into the wood. Alternatively, um, when you put it on, use a hairdryer and just heat it up as you're going along, and it'll soak into the wood. And like I say, last few years with the wax it's nice and easy and um, when you come to dismantle or when you come to do your boat you don't have loads of grease everywhere well I've got enough steel now anyway for about I don't know eight pots or something so we're good and like I say I'll finish that off another day it's getting a bit a bit like that at the moment it looks like it's gonna rain there you go there's some of the bars some there some more here and whole pile of it down here recycled trailer to be used as weights in the crab pots